Good morning, everyone. Dave from Quarter Flips here, back with day five of the video every day challenge. Is that what I was calling it? I can't remember exactly what I was calling it. Anyway, I'm doing a video every day for a week, and this is day five. This is a very quiet room today. I don't understand why sometimes that refrigerator is awful, and sometimes it's just absolutely quiet. So, I don't know. We'll see if we can record in here for a little while, and maybe it won't be so bad. If I have to, I'll move it to the other room. Let's do business. Let's start off doing business. Did I get my 10 listings up yesterday? I did plus two. I did 12 listings yesterday. Got the rest of those Lego and other type instruction manuals up. So those are done and got a couple of other random things. Just about 120 bucks worth of stuff. Not terrible. I got it done and it's like the minimum I want to do in a day in terms of money. So happy with that. Did I work on the office? Yes, I did. I got a substantial amount done, actually. Nowhere near ready to show you yet, but I've still got a couple days before I have to show you the progress without ever having shown you the before. Still, uh, I'm probably going to do that in a video on Monday, not the Sunday night video, just because I'm going to kind of do my seven videos and then do sort of a summation. So this might actually be eight videos in eight days. I don't, I don't know. We'll see when we get there. If I decide come Monday, I just am not going to do another video. That might be what happens. All right. Uh, I'm going to talk about the things that have sold. I had some sales over the last 24 hours and I need to ship today. So I was going to do something about packing and shipping also. So what I will say is there was one thing that just happened on eBay that was weird. They just made it so that you can search your sales for further back than 90 days. And all the time I've been using eBay, it's been annoying to me that I haven't been able to go back and check sales that had happened a long time ago. One of the things that is annoying about that is let's say I sell a DVD. Let's say I sell Pool Hall Junkies on DVD. And then I sell the only copy that I've got. And then five months later, I find a copy of Pool Hall Junkies. It's exactly the same as the one I sold. It'd be really easy for me to just do a quick search, pull up that old sale from five months ago, sell similar, put in the new photos, make any kind of adjustments needed, and boom, that auction's up. Well, now it looks like I'm going to be able to do that going back two years. And my assumption is that they've been getting this ready for two years because it used to be that information was just gone, right? Like your images and like the, it was just gone. It was, un, it was not searchable on eBay. So they must have a couple of years ago made the decision to start holding on to that information and just rolled out the feature that allowed you to access it. Ultimately, I think it's a good thing. I do wonder if in one year they'll increase it to three years searchable. That'll be something we can go back and check. But um, yeah, go into your sold items and try to search back further than 90 days and you might be able to see all the way back into 2020, at least early 2021. My math is bad. 2021 and forward. Okay. Let's, let's talk about what I sold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold these up, show you what they are. And then I will cut in a video of what it looks like after I have these packaged today and I'm ready to go to the post office. Just so you get an idea of what my packages look like. I won't go through the whole rigmarole of showing you how I package them. I will probably make videos about that in the future. I've been planning those for some time. First off, let's do Discogs. I sold this Stella Brass 7-inch for $6.99. Gold vinyl. Nice record. And here's what the package looks like. I sold this Mi Lai CD. Uh, learn, forget, relearn. I think this is a compilation of, well, they had an LP or a 12 inch. I guess it's enough songs for an LP. It looks like 10. And um, I had the vinyl of this for a long time. The CD, I haven't seen as often, probably because it's a weird little sleeved CD. This one went for, what did it go for? $14.99 plus shipping. Here's the packaging on this one. Meat Puppets, Meat Puppets 2 CD. $8.99 plus shipping. Here's how I send a single CD. And then I sold this set of four uh, EDM CDs. What do I got here? I've got Square Pusher, Square Window, little tiny CD. Aphex Twin, Window Liquor. 
Underworld, Born Slippy, and Boards of Canada, Geogaddy, Ge Geogaddy, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Anyway, these all went together for just under $29. Going to ship these together in a package and, well, in a, it'll be a box, but maybe one that I've made. Let's take a look at what that's going to look like. Yeah, when I sell multiple CDs like this and ship them together, I put uh, bubble wrap in between each CD so that they won't, you know, the jewel cases won't destroy each other if something happens. I don't know that it always works, but I don't get a lot of complaints. Okay, let's go over to eBay and see what I got. I sold the sealed copy of Hawaii Five-O, the 12th and final season. Got this one at Picker's Warehouse a while back. This one went for, sorry, I'm looking down here at the prices. $10.99 plus shipping. Here's what it looks like packaged. Upright Citizens Brigade. First and second seasons DVD sets. These went for $12.99 plus shipping. Land of Look Behind documentary, a film by Alan Greenberg. This is a, a limited special edition, comes with the, the CD compilation from the record too, or from the movie also. And this one went for $19.99 plus shipping. Got this at Deseret Industries. That's the thrift store in my house that I pop into at least once a week just to see what they leave lying around for me. This was one of those items, as is another item that's coming up. Here's what it looks like packaged. Got these four RPG books. They are Deadlands RPG books. It's Horrors of the Weird West, The Way of the Gun, and The New Science. These were on sale in the um, Half Price Books clearance section. I think they were $2 a piece. I just love these RPG books. There wasn't a lot of call for this, but I thought if I bundled them together, someone out there has to be looking for them. And indeed they were. They went for $24.99 plus shipping. I'm going to send these in an LP mailer because it's already the right size. And the other item from Deseret Industries and something that I have sold this week that I actually listed this week is this Bowser action figure. He moves. It was a Jax Pacific action figure from the 90s at some point. A World of Nintendo figure, maybe early 2000s. I'm not sure. Anyway, I got him for a buck. Sold him for $7.99 plus shipping. Going to throw him in whatever small box I've got lying around with some bubble wrap. That's it. I'm going to pack these up and get them to the post office. Day five in the bag and the refrigerator just came on. Perfect timing. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Probably late tomorrow because I'm going to be out all day shopping with Tanya. So I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll try to get the video posted before midnight.